Hello, welcome to a new reaction video. My name is Larissa and today I am going to react to the season 3 finale of The Witcher. Last episode with Henry Cavill. I'm kind of scared, but we're just gonna do it. But before I start, I think right now is the perfect time to introduce someone to you. Um, she really doesn't want to, but... <laughs> Here she is, it's my new kitty. But the reason I'm introducing her in my The Witcher episodes is because her name is Siri. That's adorable, right? Okay, she really doesn't want to. <laughs> but yeah, she's been living with us for like one and a half week now. Simba and her are like getting to know each other a bit. In the beginning, she was really mean to Simba. She was just like hissing at him. And But I think she was just scared of him because Simba is like this really big cat. And he kind of looks like a demon sometimes. So <laughs> I get it. And she's like this really tiny, small kitten. So <laughs> she's actually one years old already. And uh, we got her from the animal shelters. So now that you've met Siri, I'm gonna react to this episode of The Witcher. And before I start, I want to tell you that all of my The Witcher reactions are uncut on my Patreon. So my full reactions to the episodes. So check that out if you're interested. And then now I'm going to react to the last episode. I'm so scared, but um, let's go. I really hope Geralt is gonna get better soon. Is Yesker still there? He's suffering. No, Witcher. No news of Nilfgaard or the girl. And no, I didn't ask. And then how would we have these lovely daily chats? How long has he been there? Grouse. Caught especially for you. Ungrateful twat. <coughs> He's just sad. Let him be sure in his depression era. Oh, man. Take it easy. Uh, stop, Let him stop. be, Bart. He broke his back and look at his leg. Oh, he Why actually broke his back. I didn't even realize that. And you won't get better unless you let us help you. Grouse? Give me the damn grouse. Oh, now you want it. <laughs> Very weird energy between you two. <sighs> Just pointing it out. Are we sure that these healers are qualified? They're meant for natural beings, not mutants. Ah. Then I feel like these healers really aren't qualified. Okay, he's getting up pretty easy now, though. Protecting her, protecting his family, it's who he is. Even in this sorry our state, I'm pretty sure he could snap me like a toothpick, so no. I'm not gonna stop him. If he needs my help, he has it. So you're both fucking lunatics! Uh, no, that's his boyfriend. Cause you'd be dead now. She is right, though, but... I also feel like, like, what are they gonna do for him? Because they just said, oh, this only works on humans. So up to now, I think the rest is mostly what's been helping him. Of course, it's nice that they're helping him, but I just hope it has an effect. Siri. It feels funny to, like, shout that while I'm watching The Witcher. And she got used to her name pretty quickly. What happened here? Oh, that's the cave for Geralt, was right? Velga Forts, he's gone. Okay, but the new hair is kind of slay. Take all of us to reverse the spell. They deserve that. You can't just leave them there. They deserve a proper burial to honor them. Yes, but them. also you're going to remember no time. But like, you want, but these girls were killed here. Yeah, okay. but like, this is why Triss. Yeah, I love her. This is such a Triss team to say, you know. Do not forget that you were willing to bring the whole brotherhood down with your purge, and why? We are partners, and I can trust Deke. Yeah, like I trusted Vilgefortz. I don't know what he or Emir want with Siri. Look at what he did to those girls. Yeah. We return them to Aratusa. We give them peace. Then we fight. I really hate that the elven lady is so pretty because it makes it harder for me to dislike her. And I don't want to like her. But she kind of reminds me of Rebecca Ferguson sometimes. Maybe it's just the red hair, but. I must say, Fringilla, death becomes you. Great elders have peace. No. You may lead the elves in Sintra, the old, the sick, the ones who, who cannot fight. The score you tell, they stay with us. Oh. They know the land. They won't do it. Not as long as they serve me. But disavow them. Or all of your people die fighting to survive. The elves have sacrificed so much. 
Don't let it be for nothing. Asshole. <laughs> Forgot about him for a second. Lee. He's Never walking with his stick out. now. Yeah. Examples must be made. I'm truly sorry. Because I know how much you like Philippa. Oh? But someone's got to pay. But Philippa's not even there. It's so funny to me that this is happening to him now because I really don't like him. Okay, back to training. <laughs> yeah, I, I, feel, I feel the same. It's painful to watch. You'd be dead now. Go back to bed, Witcher. You're not his friend. You're tagging along to get one more song out of him when he dies. How dare you? I would milk his death for like three songs. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 Honestly, yeah, he would. She's like, what's wrong with these people? You're useless. And he's truly useless. <laughs> Facts. He's like, what did I do now? I spent here is just because you're hiding from the world. Doesn't mean that I have to. Ouch. Oh, Siri's back. Fine. You've got it's it wrong. Oh, I like her tattoos or whatever it is. Or is it just like body paint or anything like that? Does it remind you of someone you lost? It looks important. It reminds me of someone I killed. Oh, that was also a season. That was her! I really need to rewatch this all after I, I, I finish editing this. Because I, I vaguely remember this, but it's been years. You could have handed Ciri's head over to the kings on a platter to win support. No, I could never have done that. Your pain is my pain. When I came to Tara too, so if a sorceress fell pregnant, she was kicked out. Divided loyalties, said the men. So of course. If I go to him without her, I failed. There are worse failures. Spare me the self-loathing bullshit. And letting Vilga thoughts make you question who you are. This isn't you. Everything that's been done to me, I've survived because of your faith. I mean, she has just been you betrayed by this guy who she has been together with for quite a while now. She really trusted. And so you many people died. Degrees. You are our mother, and we need you. Service for the novices. It's time. I have to say, I feel like they're wasting a bit of time here. Like, I get it, obviously, but you could have maybe done that when you got back or something. Because Siri is like someone who's alive and needs your help right now. I don't know, I feel like Yennefer would have been like, there's no time to lose, we have to go there now. Just like, who said that? Philippa did. Like, she didn't actually want to do this. One of the first things we learn about chaos is that it always has consequences. Isn't that like the title of the episode? And eventually we all must pay. It is not a gift. And often that trade leads us to dark places. But there are always bright spots. Tris and Yennefer really Teaching are my favorite mages. I know you will do great things, my daughter. But I'm afraid I cannot. The hair looks so pretty Sometimes though. A and the best thing it can do for us is die. <gasps> oh, fuck. I thought she felt like Siri was in danger or something. Oh, no. I feel like it, it takes so long to start liking her. And now she has like this really good moments with Jennifer and all, and then she dies. Like, I, I really grew to like her. She is such a sleigh. Girl boss. <laughs> Maybe not the right, word, <laughs> right words to use while she's dying, but... It's pretty sad. Like, it's sad, but I didn't feel too attached to her, but it's still like, really sad. Oh, now she's also going there. Everyone's um, trying to get Geralt to heal. But she's just instantly welcome there. Yes, you came. Aww. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. His face. I don't know. It's my fault. 
couldn't protect her. Why do they always have to have these kind of moments? I feel like this happened like three times before in the season. Like, this isn't the last time we're gonna see each other, right? I need you to here. Yeah. <laughs> she healing him. She better. I'm kind of done with this Gerald and bad thing. Someone's got to pay. <laughs> You're here. You're alive. <laughs> Don't worry, there will be consequences, Philippa. Uh, found me and help get me home. Your Highness. Oh. I could not rest until I knew he was safe. You'll see. Yeah, you'll see, you shape shifting little shit. <laughs> I'm not staying. Oh? Not even good prince. But I've finally found something that suits me. Being gay. Someone. And he needs my help. That is cute. Listen, Mia. He's not wrong, you see. We fucked up. He gets it. Oh shit. Sure. Oh. Just tell Vision Mia it was my fault. But then it's not really wise you to kill him now, right? But not my strategy. <laughs> I've made plans to protect us both. <gasps> oh fuck Yeah, I mean I, I could have seen that coming. We have sacrificed too much already. Oh, what are you saying? I'm gonna take Amir's deal. I'm just gonna Amir is brutal. All humans are brutal. He's a liar. Do you know they had your baby killed? And then he tried to set me up for it. Amir killed our child. Yes, he did. And then he used Redania to try and manipulate you. Amir killed our child and you knew. Yeah, I just wanted to say, like, I don't think it's a good idea to reveal this now. And so I told him that your baby, your baby was... was a way of keeping you here, to keep us fighting. Oh my god, now she's gonna hate Amir you too, what? Murdered. And I lost my brother, my husband. She's lost everything now. Because of your lie. I can't undo what I've done. Bro, <laughs> that's not gonna help. He deserves it. Stop don't touch do me. He does not know the meaning of suffering, but he will, and so will you. Yeah, that's what I meant. Telling her you know and you actually even had a part in this was not gonna do anything really, apart from hate, make you hate her, her make her hate you too. Jesus fucking Christ. English. How did this happen? I don't know, but I will find out, and whoever is responsible will be made to pay. I feel like he must know right now that it was them, right? Because they also already killed the king's wife. But now he can't leave because now he it's has to be king. Radovid is back safely, and he's easier to manipulate, I guess. Kind of like um, Joffrey and Tommen, the way Joffrey was killed because Tommen was easier to manipulate and for Marjorie to marry a safer person. Fuck. Oh, I really wanted him to be able to leave and be gay with Yasker. That is so fucked. And your brother just gets killed and then Instantly he's like, okay, you're the king now, you have to do everything. Like, you're still like, you haven't even processed what just happened and you already get a crown on your head. <sighs> Wild. We've all lost. Wait, so she's back there? Uh -huh. Is Geralt healed now? It's not going to be the same without Taseya. I just don't have any tears left in me. Good. Because I Time for crying is time. over. We need to eliminate Vilga Force. Yeah. Ride, Witcher, ride. Sun coming. Howling wind? I feel like that's been done. Howling wind. <laughs> Never interrupt an artist when he is in a state of numinous flow. I, I recognize you. Dara. 
You helped me get passage to Zintria once. Oh, oh yeah, true. They do know each other. Yes, I remember. It's not quite what I was thinking of, though. No, was the battle? I was at Sharawed, fighting with the Scoyatel. If I keep carrying this hatred, it'll kill me. Yes, it will. I knew Siri. If you see her again, tell her I forgive her, and that I'm sorry. So Gerald is back on his feet. Time to get Siri. I mean, this episode is like 20 more minutes and because it's the last episode, I really hope it's gonna have like an epic ending. So get on with it. Ew. Oh, come on, he's, look at him. Sorry, buddy. Just be gentle with him. How can you be gentle with that? Come on. dead now god damn i have to say this really doesn't feel like the last episode this feels like the one before it or something and then after like the episode after they're gonna find siri go on an epic quest but he still isn't like fully healed he doesn't really have like all the senses i think an auspicious day my lord Thanks oh bids welcome Cyrilla Fiona Ellen Rhiannon of Duchess of Rhiannon. Is it gonna be the real Siri? Because they're they're waiting so long and she's so like confident with this? Does she even want it? Welcome home. You are where you belong. See, it's the fake Siri. A pleasure. I knew it. Where is the real Siri? Oh. Yeah, because she got found by people, but like... That's of course why they heard the, the rumors about her on her way to... being on her way to Nilfgaard. But it was just a fake one. Come on, I really don't feel like the visions and all. Just give me a proper ending. A prize. Special little burn. That's the wens Nilfgaard's been searching for. Still wouldn't mind a turn. <laughs> Any of that food for us? Pass off. The only reason I'm tolerating this is because I know they're gonna take revenge. Hi, Bor. <laughs> she told you she was hungry, dickhead. <laughs> Touch him again. I'll plunge this blade through your eye. Yeah, I'll let them just kill each other, you know. That's the easiest thing. The fuck is she? Son of a bitch. The rat! Shit. <laughs> nice. Was she in the village before? You pay for that, you highborn bitch. Yeah, sure. <laughs> you really think you can defeat Siri, who has been trained by Geralt and Jennifer? Bye bye! I like it extra much that he dies in a really painful way because he has the same name as my ex. You're gonna need further identification. Or I can take your missus here around the corner and she can convince me to let you go through. Jesus! Give me a second. <laughs> Not gonna help me out here or anything. <laughs> you wanna get through your pay. Or you die. Two. Two. <laughs> You're gonna have to do better than that, freak. That looks nice. <laughs> no fucking way. For your troubles. Friend. Girl, no, come on, not that. Very nice. On you go. Everything you. for Thank Siri. You so much. Woman with cold blue eyes was following you. I feel like they're just gonna kill them and then get the thing back and then help the people. Because it's Geralt. Just keep walking. Yeah, does he even have the strength Geralt, to do this right now? Why? What a time. Maybe I'll take her home and see what use she can be put to. Was it because she Please kill him. You told her to love. Neutrality be damned. Yeah. 
Okay, let's go. Oh hell yeah. I know. I'll be dead now. I don't know what to think because this episode is only five more minutes and it hasn't really been what I expected from it to be honest. Missed one. No, I didn't. You managed to get to Nilfgaard before I do. <laughs> Such a mystic fuck. I hope he still kills him. You tell that fuck, Amir. Hmm. Where's the family now? Are they still there? Oh, yeah. Aww. I know in my heart, Geralt, you will find Ciri. But we will be the last to fall. Of that I am sure. Really, is it gonna oh, end here? They tell you it's gonna feel bad, taking a life. Hasn't she done that before? But it doesn't. We gotta go. What's your name? Call me Falca. Oh. Ride, witch, ride. Oh. With the wind that moves the there is a song. Okay, I'm gonna listen to the song. I've been waiting for that the whole season. And then I will talk about how disappointed I am. This is gonna be in my playlist. What a banger! Okay, nice new song. Finally got what I wanted. I mean, that's at least the one thing that I'm less disappointed about now. Okay, so honestly, what I expected um, was that because this was Henry Cavill's last season, that they would actually kind of end his story here. But this is kind of already what I was afraid of. Like, Liam Hemsworth is just gonna replace him and then the story is just gonna continue with him, I think. I, I, I was already afraid of that, but I was still, I still kind of had my hopes that they wouldn't do that. That it would just be like, okay, the story with this cast or, or like at least the story they're in right now would have closure. And that then like a new story or something would start, but not with Henry Cavill anymore. It's like it's just ending in the middle of a... Ugh, I hate this. It's like the least thing I asked for was just a bit of closure when Henry Cavill would leave. In the end, he's not even together with Siri. He's not together with Yennefer. It's just him and Jaskier. Also kind of iconic because that's how it started. But still, it's... Uh, I absolutely hate it. Honestly. I don't know. I... I Honestly, wasn't really planning on watching the, the seasons with Liam Hemsworth. But the thing is, I also really love Jennifer and I also really love Siri and I love Jaskier. So it's kind of hard because if you, you're going to give up this whole show because of Henry Cavill, then you're also not going to see the rest. But at the same time, I feel like it's going to be so weird to not have him there anymore. I feel like if we suddenly see Liam Hemsworth as Geralt and see him have a relationship with Jennifer and see him have a father-daughter relationship with Siri. It just feels wrong or something. It's not... No, it's not the same. So yeah, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do there then. Uh, but this feels so unfinished. I really wish this would have just felt like a real season finale to like the last season with Ca Henry Cavill. Also, this, this whole episode didn't really feel like a season finale at all to me. Um, it did have some deaths like to Seiya, which was pretty important death, of course. Uh, we did see the part where the fake Siri um, went to the father and, and yeah, in Nilfgaard. Honestly, like the, the whole episode with the fight, like the sixth episode, that felt more like a season finale than this. It just it didn't give me any closure or something. It didn't really have an epic ending as well. It was just like Geralt killing all those guards and, and then say, I don't even remember what, saying something to him in the end. And then they went on their way just to... Oh yeah, of course, the letter from Yennefer, that was the end. That is pretty iconic because that's also how it started, the season, of course. So th that's pretty nice. But then, yeah, he just goes on trying to find Ciri. And, and honestly, you have to admit, the Witcher franchise is basically just always trying to find Ciri. Every season, it's like that. Every game, it's like that. I haven't read the book yet, but it's probably also like that in the book. It's just finding Ciri. They could have like called the show Finding Ciri instead of The Witcher. But, like, yeah, I don't know. I'm a bit disappointed. 
Um, I, I feel like I'm not the only one. Let me look up some, some comments real fast because now I'm curious about what other people say. Oh, this is so bad. Yeah, people are only saying like, oh, The Witch for season four is delayed. And now they're kind of mad about that. But like, that's obvious because of the strikes. Like every show is going to be delayed now. Okay, I only see one person here who is kind of having the same opinion as me. They say like, are they for real? Looks like they stop, stopped it mid-season. Now we have to wait until God knows when and Liam's gonna pop up like it's normal. Yeah, cutting it in half for this. Netflix truly treating treating us like clowns. Sorry, that came out a bit, yeah. But yeah, that, like, it, it really feels like they just stopped in the middle of the season. Honestly, everything we saw right now, they could have done that in half a season. And then the other half could have been, like, epic. They could have finished the story. Um... I really don't know yet what I'm gonna do if I'm gonna watch the next season with, with Liam Hemsworth. I, ugh. It, it, it's honestly making me sad right now. I'm kind of mad. I'm disappointed. It's all these, like, feelings that are not nice. <laughs> but let's end with something positive. I have to say, um, Henry Cavill's performance in The Witcher, best thing of the whole show. I loved him in it, and I'm really gonna miss him. Yeah, I'm, I'm mostly just gonna miss, like, the dynamics with, like the four main characters, you know. Also, what also feels kind of weird is like, they made this whole storyline with Radovid and that he really liked the Esker and all. Um, then in the end, they didn't really do anything with that. So it also felt a little random. I hope maybe in the next season, they're gonna do something with that. Otherwise it was just purely <laughs> random. But honestly, I feel like right now I am treating it like it should have been a series finale and it's not. They're gonna continue this story, just not with Henry Cavill. For me, it just felt like this is the last episode. And I think I shouldn't maybe have gone into it with that feeling. But I also thought they know a lot of people are not gonna watch this show anymore after Henry Cavill leaves. So I thought they would at least give like a little closure at this season. So yeah, maybe they're also doing it on purpose. Like making oh. it end with a cliffhanger or still like in the middle of the story so people are gonna watch the next season but yeah i don't know about that overall if you don't look at the ending i had fun watching this season i love the dynamics be between jennifer Geralt, and siri of course jessica as well i did like jessica's storyline with red of it even though in the end they didn't really do anything with it but maybe the next season then so yeah i i had a good time watching it especially the sixth episode i really enjoyed it the first episode was also one of my faves the one and six were yeah really nice episodes and in the middle of that it felt like a lot of fillers like i said it just could have been shorter but yeah i think this was my reaction to the witcher um, season three finale i'm just a little disappointed i hope i'll get over it because yeah it just feels sad because the show really did mean a lot to me and now it feels like it's coming to an end and it isn't even closed well so yeah, that. I'm curious to know what you guys think of it. Um, if you feel the same or if you're excited about the next season or whatever. Let me know. I'm curious. It's like I have to say, overall, I actually really like this season. Like, it had a rough start. But it was a nice season. It just, like, I'm, I'm just a little sad about the ending. I just expected a bit more from that. But... To not fully hate on everything, I did like the season. And like I said, I had fun watching it. So, um... Yeah, even though the ending is not what I hoped for, I did have three seasons of this show, which I could enjoy. So yeah, that's a good thing, I guess. <laughs> like I said, all of my reactions are on my Patreon uncut. Uh, so check that out. And yeah, then that was it. So if you like my reaction, please leave a like, subscribe. And um, right now I'm reacting to Good Omens as well. So uh, if you're looking for more reactions from me, I hope to see you maybe at my Good Omens reactions. And otherwise maybe at another reaction. And maybe, just maybe, if I'm in a really good mood and kind of start to accept Liam Hemsworth as Geralt. Which probably won't happen. But if, you know, then uh, maybe one day at, at New Witcher reactions. But honestly, don't expect anything um i'm not saying anything about that yet so yeah that was my reaction i hope you liked it and um yeah bye